not your average place for an interview. Behind the scenes here at a Castrol Edge commercial with the NFL MVP, Adrian Peterson. We'll talk about the commercial in a second, obviously still in your get up here. But I just want to ask you first and foremost about this offseason versus last year's offseason. You were rehabbing last year. Now you're able to enjoy things like this. Yeah, it's um, definitely night and day. Um, last year, really more focused on recovering from the injury and uh, didn't really have too much going on, you know, so I was able to focus on that and bounce back. And now that I'm back, a lot of more opportunities coming at me, so I'm enjoying it. Let's go to where the season left off and some disappointment because we know that that single season rushing record for you was something that you had kind of put on your radar when you started this comeback from your knee surgery. Falling that short, when you put your head down on the pillow even now, do you think about it? Not really. I sleep well, <laughs> you know. Um, I just take it for what it is, you know, it wasn't meant to be. Um, so that's how I look at it, you know. Um, it's something that I wanted to accomplish because it was there, but it, it didn't happen, you know. Um, we made it to the playoffs and I was just as excited for the, you know, about that. Going into this season, considering now that you're back at full strength, is that single season rushing record back on the table for you? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not something that I'm going to focus on early. Okay. Um, I'm just going to let the chips fall where they may, you know. But um, I got my, my board set for 2,500. So Whoa. if I get close to that, the record is, is shattered, you know. So, uh, but ultimately, I want a couple of rings. So we got to start at one and we need to get that one this year. I mean, the turnaround for you guys was unbelievable. Able to go from, you know, a three and 13 season, then you guys make the playoffs. What's the missing piece though? Is there one thing or are you guys ready to roll now? Are you Super Bowl contenders? I, I feel like we have the potential to hit the Super Bowl and win. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's just all about coming together as a unit. You know, everyone being in sync and, you know, everyone just listening to what we were saying in-house, yeah. you know, as a coaching staff, as an organization, and focusing on that and not letting, not letting the outside influence what we have going. Did that happen last year? Was there a little outside influence that maybe came in and gave guys, you know, maybe second thoughts about what you were able to do? No, but that's, you know, especially for those guys that, I'm not that guy to sit there and watch, you know, it's being all the time, yeah. but you know, guys do that. And they're listening to this and they're listening to that and they're reading the newspapers. Um, but actually guys were, able to come together in jail and just focus on in-house. So we just need to continue that mindset and we'll be okay. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but considering how incredible your comeback season was from surgery, you've now set the bar so high for every other athlete who's coming back from an ACL. And in some ways, I think it gives guys hope, you know, gives guys motivation. I saw Adrian Peterson do it, maybe I can do it. But do you realize how much this has had an effect on the rest of professional sports? I do, I definitely realize it. And uh, it, it feels good to, to be that individual that, you know, that's pretty much a statement like, hey, you know, this is something that's been um, long overdue for ACL injuries. I can't sit here and say the next person is going to dedicate themselves like that. You know, they got they got the platform, they got that to look at. So I've always, you know, been able to handle things mentally um, since I was young. So this right here compared to some of the things I've been through. It was really easy. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today. Obviously, you got your uniform on. We're here in the sound stage. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just having a, a great time here behind the scenes um, at the Catchroll Edge um, shoot. I look at their mindset, and it's about, you know, not being strong with being stronger. You know, so it really goes hand in hand with, you know, my rehab and my mindset, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't sell for just being strong, because there's a lot of strong individuals out there. It's, it feels good to collaborate with Cash Royes and to be here today. You've shown it on the field. We have no reason to argue with you, and congratulations on being the MVP, and good luck this season.